All right, so here we are uh, for my little overnighter today. Uh, I'm a little late tonight, starting a bit late in the evening, because recently I just haven't had much time. But I guess that's going to be an additional challenge for me to start up this late. It's getting dark and I haven't done anything. I've just come here. So what I've brought with me today, as far as sleeping goes, my wool blanket and tarp and that's it so let me set this up and bring some firewood and we'll see how it goes all right so the fact that it's late and it's getting dark really fast made me rush things and when you rush things this is what happens not a big deal but i managed to hit myself with an axe not with the blade, just with the head, so uh, just a little flesh wound. Nothing really major, nothing serious. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting um, burst polypore to stop the bleeding and attaching it with a piece of regular plaster. So that is fairly easy to deal with. That's it. In this situation, I don't need no stupid infection or anything like that. All right, guys, so I've got my fire. And if you're wondering if I took my dog with me today, tonight. Oh, yeah, I did. So it's actually a little too freaking hot for me right now, but I'm pretty sure it's going to die down later on so um yeah the bed's looking good i needed to add some i don't know if you can see this um yeah you probably can't but anyway um yeah i added some bows damn it's too hot so yeah let's see how it goes I don't really have to eat anything tonight. Um, I've eaten, I'm pretty well fed. So, and I already have one hanger, a pot hanger. But I have two cranes to support them. So I thought, and I have enough pots to use them with. So since I have a lot of spare time now, I'm just gonna make myself another one for tomorrow. Right, so let's check the temperature right now. Right, so one of my thermometers shows like three degrees or something. That's Celsius, obviously. Um, and the other one tells me it's like nine or something like that. Celsius, which is, well, I don't know, 50 Fahrenheit. Who do I trust, eh? I guess I'm just gonna check uh, weather forecast. Right, so after consulting uh, two separate weather forecast pages, websites, uh, one says it's about six, the other says it's about seven. But you have to bear in mind that this usually refers to the nearest large city, which in my case is probably about 50 kilometers away. Plus, temperatures in the woods are usually not that generous. So they drop slower, they rise slower than in the city. 
but it usually gets colder out here. So I suppose it's quite possible that it's about four, three degrees centigrade. Look at my dog chilling by the fire. Yeah, I had to put some boughs on, on her bum because she just didn't react, you know, when I touched her uh, fur. It was just freaking hot. I couldn't hold my hand there and she just didn't react. She didn't do anything. She wouldn't even move. So I don't know whether this is some kind of um, sensation issues or something. I don't know. But the boughs are just in case. And I know I'm going to keep an eye on them so they don't catch on fire. Right guys, so I'm probably gonna go to sleep now and just wanted to say if you were ever wondering what the roof is all about in camps it's not just to protect you from rain I just realized how important it is in reflecting heat from the fire it's not just the reflector itself it reflects the heat but it bounces back off of my roof as well otherwise it, it would just dissipate and would be gone essentially so yeah it's not I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be raining here like 90% sure that's as good as it gets with weather forecasts but still you know heat retention wise it's still a good idea oh and of course it also stops the wind from blowing and turning into swirling in your camp inside your camp so essentially what you've got is your backstop here, the roof behind me and the only way the wind can go is parallel to my bed which means that you know the smoke is basically just going up and I haven't coughed and choked on the smoke once tonight so that's definitely working well Alright guys, so it's about half past six, so me and my dog are pretty good, nothing wrong happened to us over the night, um, the fire is still going strong, I just chucked a few smaller sticks onto the, the old thick log. Um, I don't feel like sleeping anymore, so I'm just gonna cook myself some breakfast, see you in a bit. Right, so my dog is still sleeping under the bed. And here we have my breakfast. There's gonna be some tea and noodles with mushroom sauce. Good stuff. Just look at the size of these things. And these are most likely edible. I say most likely because I, I'll just explain what's wrong with these mushrooms. Normally I'm not afraid of mushrooms. I know quite a lot of species and I collect, I pick the ones that I know. These, I know somewhat, but I also know that you can easily mistake them for something really poisonous. So, you know, normally if I make a mistake, I usually don't make mistakes, but if I make a mistake, I may have a diarrhea, something like that, a headache, nothing really major. But with this one, if I make a mistake, I die, almost certainly die. That's why I don't take my chances with these ones. Right, so the sun has come up, um, I'm going to eat my breakfast and probably break the camp, go back home 
and maybe visit this place again because it's such an awesome place. Thanks a lot for watching. Please click like, share and subscribe. Visit my website simonsdiscoveries.com. Follow me on Twitter, Simons Discoveries as well. Again, thanks a lot for joining me and see you next time. Like